Hi, Greg Dell with Attorneys Dell and Schaefer, and every day we do a new question of the week that seems to come in from people around the country. And today's question was, how long is Hartford short-term disability? And Steve, if you can expand upon that and also maybe talk a little bit about how long is a long-term disability mm -hmm. claim so that people understand both of those scenarios. All right, so short-term is, is just that, it's short-term disability. It's gonna be based on the policy language. Um, a lot of times you're, it's usually at a minimum 90 days, sometimes out to 26 weeks or you know 180 days, six months. Your short-term disability period is also the elimination period for the long-term disability. So to get on long-term, you have to show that you're disabled during the elimination period, which is the short-term period. So it, depending on how your policy is written, they usually abut up once uh, against each other. Uh, and then most of the Hartford disability policies are written that they will go uh, out to your Social Security retirement age. Uh, there are still some that will say out to the age of 65. But you also have to be careful. Hartford does write policies I've seen where um, it's been a maximum of five years or it's only for as long as you've been employed by the company. Um, so there are some weird variations and that's really gonna be based on you know, what the premium rates your employer wanted to pay for the policy. But as a general rule of thumb, short term is probably gonna be around 90 days, maybe out to 180. And if you maintain all of the requirements of the policy itself, it could pay you out to your Social Security retirement age. Okay, along the lines also as to how long Hartford disability benefits can last, talk about the limitations in a policy, which while the policy may say age 65, mm -hmm. it really isn't. Yeah, so you're referring in the long-term disability policies, uh, certain restrictions. Uh, you will almost certainly find in a Hartford policy that if your condition's uh, caused by a mental health condition, uh, it'll be limited to 24 months of benefits. That's the standard. Again, I've seen as little as 12, high as 36. Um, they're getting uh, substance abuse, the same thing. And Hartford is starting to join a lot of the other insurance carriers where they're starting to limit certain physical conditions as well. So you may be in a situation, say if you go out on major depression, where Hartford at the end of that two years saying, well, yeah, there's, there's no way you can work, but we only have to pay you 24 months under the policy, so we wish you the best. And then also people think that just because they got approved and the policy says age 65, that it's gonna last to 65 or as long as they need it. Is that true? That's not true. You, it, it, does, it is true if you meet all the terms and right. conditions. That's the caveat. So in an initial award letter, it may say your benefits have been approved out to 2035, which is someone's retirement age. Um, and then they call and we, they got a denial letter and like, well, it said they were gonna pay me. I'm like, well, the caveat is if you meet the terms and conditions, which means do they determine you're still disabled under the policy? And if they don't, then you no longer do and you're terminated. And is it difficult to stay on claim once you get approved? With Hartford, yes, it can be very difficult to stay on claim. Um, you know, you have the any occupation switch, usually around 24 months. It's this idea of performing any other occupation. Um, so it's a lower standard by which they deny. Uh, it's not often that we see people's claims actually make it through the maximum benefit period, whether there's a shelf life of anywhere from two to, to five years, and then Hartford is gonna draw a line in the sand because this area of the law is very favorable when it gets to courts. Um, so I believe that you start to see a higher incidence of claim denials, which is in some ways like a strong arm buyout tactic where they try to buy you out on, a, on the cheap. Okay. If you have a situation with Hartford or have any questions that you'd like us to answer, feel free to give Stephen or any of our disability attorneys a call. We represent claimants all over the country. We're always going to provide you with an immediate free phone consultation. Whether you give us a call or email us a question, we also encourage you to subscribe to our video, which you can do below, and we appreciate you considering our law firm.